Eastern, Eastern forehand grip, semi Western grip, full Western grip. How on earth do I hit a forehand like this? As if you want to hit a Western forehand grip, you don't like the Eastern, you don't even like the semi Western, you want to go full Western, watch this video because I'm going to show you how you can hit a forehand like this. When it comes to the full Western grip, there's three three major tips that I want to share with you today. It's going to help you on your uh, on your full Western forehand grip. I'll give you some pros and cons at the end as well. But first things first, guys, you need to understand uh, the more Western you go. So there's the Eastern, semi Western, full Western. Okay. Did you see how my strings were closing? The more Western you go, the earlier your contact point has to be in front of you, okay? The more Eastern you go, the more you can get away with a late contact point. So please understand, if you wanna stick with your Western forehand grip, you need to figure out a way to get that ball, contact the ball in front of you all the time. Far in front, it's the only way you're gonna be able to rip it. As soon as you hit the ball late with this full Western, understand the full Western grip, you cannot get away with a late contact point, it has to be in front. Let's move on to step number two. Guys, please stay all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you with a slinger ball machine. Once I've showed you the three tips, how I'm actually hitting the ball with my full western. Tip number two, guys, so important. When you have a full western grip, a lot of players think that they can have a half swing, okay? I want you to get this into your mind. If you do a full, full western grip, you gotta swing very angular, there needs to be space. If you go to eastern, you can get away with a stiff swing, a linear swing, okay? So, Tip number two, when you have a western grip, you gotta turn all the way. Big turn so you can actually swing through. Everything is angular and around the ball. You can't get away with this. That's why close stance is very difficult with a full western grip. I recommend 90% of your shots open stance so you can have that big swing. It will look something like this. Big swing, boom. You have to, you have no choice Get around that. Yes, you're gonna get a lot of top spin like that, but make sure you have the big swing. Let's move on. Okay, my champions, I actually jumped the gun on the previous one, but tip number three is open stance, okay? Please don't try and have a full western grip. It just doesn't work. Look when I change my, my grip to eastern while I'm close stance. There's the western, there's the eastern. Just a lot more natural. Western, this is not natural. Open stance. Now you can do, now that's a lot more natural, okay? So open stance there, helps you with the turn, it helps you to get the ball out in front as well, okay? There's a lot more to it, but if I had to choose three tips on the western forehand, focus on those, it will help you, okay? Let me show you some with the ball machine. See if you can recognize the three tips, the contact point, the angular swing, the big turn, and the open stance. This is not the one I normally play with, but I'm gonna show you that it is possible. Full Western. So there, big swing. Open stance. Notice the ball machine is giving the balls high, which I'll talk about now. Full western grip really helps on the high ball. Let me give you guys one more. There we go. If you love a full western grip and you really want to use it, those three tips will help you, okay? I, I, I said I'll, I'll tell you about the pros and the cons a little bit. Some of the pros is on the full western grip, the high ball is easier. Of course, you're gonna get a lot more spin um, well, on a slower surface, the western grips work, works very well. Um, some of the cons, the low ball is going to be harder. So be sure when someone slices to your forehand with a western grip, you've got to get extremely low with the legs. Um, it is possible to do it on a fast surface, a little bit harder though. Um, so those are just some of the things guys, but I wanted to help you out with your western forehand grip and let's call it spade a spade guys if you're using a western grip it's it's a fact that you want a lot of spin and you like to top spin the ball and if you really want to go to the next level in terms of your spin 
I have a video that you have to watch. You can't go without it on the screen right now. Watch it. <laughs>